Well, let me break this card for you guys. What's up boys and girls, this is Bruno here with Team UTY and today I'm going to be featuring here in the channel a true one card combo for Ubel that's going to end up on an insane amount of interruptions and obviously the new card that just got off the ban list, Colossus. This card is absolutely insane and I believe the, the TCG players won't sleep like the OCG players on this because this card is absolutely broken. So let's go ahead and take a look on what we can do with just a single Nightmare Throne, okay? Let's just play here, okay? I'll pause, explain, activate effect to search. Now I can go ahead and add, add Lotus to her hand. Normal summon Lotus and activate Lotus effect to special summon Spear of U-Bell from the deck. Now activate Spear of U-Bell effect to set to her field, Nightmare Pain, activate Nightmare Pain. We're gonna activate effect to pop Spear of U-Bell and add Mature Chronicle. This card is absolutely insane. This is what gonna make this combo absurd. And now on resolution, Spear of U-Bell 1 and Nightmare Throne 2, so summon it to her incarnate and summon the OG U Bell. Now we go ahead and activate Mature Chronicle and we're gonna be able to link summon using those two months because they're fins into Yama. Now Yama effect will search Shavara to the hand and unfortunately we don't have this card here in the TCG yet but pretty soon we will have and the, this card I'm gonna talk about is like Spirit Phantom of U Bell. This card is absolutely insane and this is why as well this, this combo is gonna be possible so it's it won't be available i mean you can still play like very similar variant for the, to this uh without phantom uh when legacy destruction comes out but you're gonna need this card to make this a true one card combo and now you're gonna counter you link those two away into soul of rage activate shavari hand to pop soul of rage and summon itself and now you're gonna do chain one chain two so you're gonna pretty much just like uh special summon uh your spear u bell from graveyard and pop with the the yum effect and you're gonna put back your phantom of u bell to the extra deck because honestly like there's not really like a reason to add something to your hand because we'll have to shuffle back anyway so just recycle it's better and we're gonna pop summon and you already gain a counter so now you're gonna be summoning again another u bell the og one and you're gonna gain another counter so now you got three counters gonna link those two away into a mud cracker and now shavar effect will go off allowing us to set chamber from directly from the deck and now we can go ahead once again just go back into the phantom of u-bell because this is now once per turn and again another counter so now we're at four counters but we only need three oh sorry <laughs> we only need three counters and we're gonna activate the one that takes three counters away to banish a card from our deck and we're gonna be banishing thunder dragon dark pretty much when this card is banished you can add one thunder dragon card from your deck to your hand which is insane now with this card here we're gonna be able to add to our hand Thunder Dragon, uh, what's his name? Uh, freak, why is it not showing up? Yeah, Thunder Dragon Hawk. And now we can activate Hawk's effect to tribute, I mean, tribute itself from hand and discard itself to special summon the one that is banished. And now you guys already know we already made the requirements for uh, Colossus, so we can just go ahead and summon Colossus like that easy. And I'm just gonna show you guys really fast what this combo does pretty much because right now you have a full field. Uh, with chamber set so pretty much next turn uh, whatever opponent does he will not be able to add cards from their deck to the hand so this is already like a deck lockdown that you're gonna have available uh, just for your opponent and then whatever he does like a monster effect you can already go ahead and activate uh, phantom of u-bell just to tribute itself and then you're gonna summon another u-bell monster from your deck I this was supposed to be an attack anyway and then you're gonna get another counter and then you also have chamber that you can go ahead and summon uh, Soul of Rage and then Soul of Rage will turn itself into a Little Knight. So this is like three more disruptions. So you have a Floodgate, three more disruptions. You have follow up for next turn. If they destroy the, your U-Bell, you're gonna be able to recycle stuff as well. They can only attack this and they take all damage back. So, and Thunder Dragon Colossus, you're gonna have as well two Thunders in your graveyard to protect it. And I just wanna show you guys another replay that I just played against someone. Uh, this was like my first game with the the U-Bell deck, so it should be down here. Okay, this one, this one, okay. Oh, just let you guys watch this because check this out. He has Ash Blossom, he has Nibir in hand, and we just played through interruptions like like it's nothing, you know? So, okay, we'll go ahead, activate, opening, normal summon dark beckoning, and then we just go ahead, extra normal summon some sort of lotus, and we just go into a regular combo like nothing's happening, you know? Because whatever they do, like this combo 
we'll play through pretty much, which is the insane part of it. Okay, so uh, things are happening, they're triggering, right? And then he's gonna go like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna shotgun this Nibiru. And I'm like, you know, that's actually very fair. You know, like he got rid of like my, my whole engine was going on, but we still have opening and we have mature Chronicle now. So you can shuffle those two back for a Phantom for one counter. This card to revive Phantom and View Bell, two counters, activate to add back, and then in fact, go summon. Now we have Shavara. We, we're pretty much at the same like place for the combo, which is insane. Um, right now, we already have like three counters on this. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And now we can just like uh, banish the Tuna Dragon, add the other one, link those two in Mudcracker, activate effect to Sat. And then we can go ahead and put those two back for another Phantom of View Bell, special summon, uh, that, and go into Colossus. And just like that, we're pretty much set on the same lock. And we just played through Ash and Abira. And we still, like, end up on the same board, which is insane. We also, like, didn't use much, but this this hand is just insane. You know, like, this like this deck just has so much potential. And Thunder Dragon with Mature Chronicle just makes so much sense. So I'll just play this right now so you guys can see what's going to be happening as well so here you go he tries to do something i some soul rage link summon and then i go ahead and use the other monster just banish it and he has to go into battle phase he attacks my monster takes the damage back he notices that because he won't be able to get through colossus and just completely admits defeat um because there is literally nothing your opponent is going to be able to do um he has to attack that if he had something else we still had ash and this one we still have a little knight. He can add cards from a hand, and we have another two disruptions with Phantom of View Bell, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me share it with you guys really fast. Deck list, okay? Uh, decks. So this is my deck list that I'm gonna be playing with this deck. Uh, the only two uh, cards I need for the Thunder Dragon stuff is gonna be uh, Dark and Hawk, and pretty much are set into Colossus. So you're gonna have double protection on Graveyard with Colossus, you can still play cards like Shifter because these cards, when they get banished, you actually get really good effects. And Ton of Dark, uh, Dark, like I say, when he's sent, like when he's banished, you can just go ahead um, and add. And you can also like try to normal summon this or special summon this and activate Throne Effect to pop because he's a Dark. And if you're under Shifter, this goes to Banish, you search this, specials, and then you can go into Colossus um, very easily under Shifter as well. So. This deck is just really fun in my opinion. Uh, we have the best super poly target and you're going to do a lot with this deck. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.